are headed on to our second venue tour. Really, really excited. Um, I'm a little upset because I forgot to wear my ring today. I have honestly been forgetting to wear it a lot and I don't know what that means. Just kidding. Um, I'm just not used to wearing jewelry. Like I really only wear necklaces and earrings when I feel like it. Like I don't even wear that on a normal basis. Um, so putting on a ring every day, I've forgotten. I also keep it in the like velvet box. So honestly, like it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, but I don't want to like put it in my regular like jewelry catch all because I don't want to get scratched up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So we're headed to a venue that we're super, super excited for. It's probably in our top two, I want to say. It's called Howie Mansion. It's near Mount Dora, um, technically in Howie in the Hills, which I had never heard of uh, until looking this place up, but it's really beautiful. Price-wise, it's pretty good. It's pretty on par to what we, what we are budgeting. And um, aesthetic-wise, it's really beautiful. So yeah, we're excited. You look so cute. I got my ring on. <laughs> oh, we're in the same place again. Let's move. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. We gotta get some different backgrounds. All right, so we're back from Howie Mansion and Howie in the Hills, a little far away. Uh, but what do you think? I really liked it. Me too. Good views, good vibes from the lady who told us all the information and gave us a tour. Mm -hmm. um, and pretty reasonable, at least compared to some of the others that we've like the looked $50, at. The $50,000 venue that we looked at. Okay, so yeah, everything's reasonable to that. Yeah. That's, that's a hard lens to look through. Yeah, um, but it was really beautiful. It definitely is an old space just in terms of like accessibility. So like we personally will need um, just some modifications because we do have someone in a wheelchair coming. Yeah, look nice. And now we're just waiting on a full proposal uh, from them to see um, how much it would all cost with our relative numbers. And then we'll go from there. March 2025 was like almost booked up. Mm -hmm. There was one weekend that is one of the dates that we're looking at that was free. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have to make a decision quick, which is nerve wracking, but we'll see, I yep. guess. We'll so out. we're not going any later in March in 2025, except for the <laughs> fall. So then we'll have to wait for like October, November, which we don't want to do. So, yeah. so we'll have to see. Yep, we'll figure it out. That's all for this one. On to the next. We are taking our original engagement photos tomorrow, which is really exciting. Oh yeah. The outfit saga continues. I have two more dresses from Amazon coming. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I have a backup outfit that is not the dress that I talked about in the last uh, video. <laughs> that I, I nixed that dress. I decided it's not worth it. I don't want to wear it. Mm -hmm. So we'll just see what tomorrow brings us. Sounds good. I, mean, I think I gotta pick up my shirt today. Oh yeah. Boop, boop. That's all. If I haven't said this before, we are going to Japan in a few days and I'm so, so excited, but I'm really scared to travel with my ring um, because it is a family heirloom and it's really, really special to the family, but also it's just special to me. It's my engagement ring. Um, so I've seen a lot of tips to buy like cheaper rings just to travel with and just to have, you know, for, you know, other occasions and different things like that. So I bought this ring on Amazon. It's essentially just like a baguette diamond ring. Um, I don't think my phone's going to focus on it. Um, but this is kind of what I was thinking I wanted for my wedding band. So I thought, oh, why not kill two birds with one stone and like try it out and see how it looks. Um, ends up, I really don't like it. Uh, let me put it on really quick. So here's it on. It looks pretty cute by itself, but it is really thick and it may, might just be because it's, you know, a cheaper ring, but it like bulges out on the side so much. So like, it's hard to close my fingers like this. Um, so it's just uncomfortable. So I'm definitely not bringing it to Japan to wear because um, it's just uncomfortable in itself. And then here it is with my engagement ring on and it definitely looks ridiculous. So I don't think I'm going to go with this style of band when choosing my band. I definitely still want something that has like all around diamonds or maybe like half around diamonds. So like you don't need to see them on this side. Um, but yeah, I just have to try more on. But that's a little ring travel update. <laughs> Good morning! Whoa, morning! <laughs> yes, it is about 9 a.m. and we just
just wrapped up our first engagement shoot finally Ooh. um with my friend alia who's an amazing photographer i'll put like all her information and whatever here um but it was so fun we went to winter park to the famous like park air condos she let us know that like because it is private property we couldn't really do too many there but we did get some external shots um like on the public sidewalk and stuff and then winter park is just really cute so we took um a little bit more like across the street but yeah they were super fun ollie is amazing she is like one of the best photographers i know slash exist especially here in central florida so it was just really great to be with her because she like knows how to pose and everything whoa so shaky okay had to wait till we were off the cobblestone but look at my hair my hair is like so stick straight this is what like my natural hair looks like um it was curly and like beautiful when we left the house but since we live in florida and the morning in florida is like just so humid because of the morning dew and whatever so my hair unfortunately fell so i trust alia so i know like i still look good hopefully um but yeah it was just so fun to finally get those done um we did have to kind of go through rescheduling from the original photographer we had, but it's a long story and honestly it all worked out in the end, so I'm not gonna dwell on that. Um, not gonna dwell on it at all because we got Alia to shoot him and I love Alia, so. Um, anyway, so it was a really good morning. Um, we actually head to uh, Japan in like two days, three days on Thursday. So there's not gonna be too much wedding content for a bit. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. I think it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter one. Um, maybe, we'll see, I don't know. I talk a lot, so maybe it won't be shorter. Um, but yeah, so it's been fun. See you when we get back from Japan and bye. Bye. Yay.